Today I'm gonna teach you how to have access to the Exhaust AP camera directly from the web interface. Coming up. Hello, welcome to my channel, Claudemir here again with another video. And today you're gonna learn how to connect your Exhaust AP camera directly to your router and have access via web browser, web interface, okay? So here basically I removed the camera from the NVR and I have it connected directly here in the router, one of the port of the router. In this router, I have the same laptop connected via Wi-Fi. And here I have the camera connected to the UTP cable and a power supply. So I don't need to use the NVR to power the camera on because I have an extra power supply. And of course, this is just a simulation because my real router is in the other room. So here is just an example what I have there. Okay, I could have more computers here connected to the other ports. Those are internal ports. And this port, I connect directly to the internet, my real router there, of course, okay? So here in the screen, I have a diagram so I can show you guys how it works. So here I have my router, the IP camera, a laptop, and basically here I have the IP of the router, the internal IP, 192.168.2.1. For the laptop 192.168.2.160, so they're in the same range uh, because just change the last part of the IP here, they're the same range. And the camera is in a different IP range. As you can see here, the camera is using 192.168.138.101. So the first thing I have to do is to change my laptop IP address, or I can have an extra IP. The laptop can handle more than one IP. And that's what I'm gonna do here. So basically I'm going to give the camera the other IP, like uh, 192.168.2.101. So everybody could be at the same network. But before that, I have to add an extra IP here to my laptop. So the laptop can have access to the camera and then I can change the IP address, right? So in the end of the situation, I'm gonna have the IP camera like this with the IP to something and the laptop also the IP to something. So everybody are in the same network and everything can communicate, all right? So let's do it. Okay guys, here in my computer, I have this icon that represents the, my Wi-Fi network. I just right click and click open network internet settings. And here I click Ethernet and change adapter options. Okay, you can also find your computer if you don't have the icon there. You can find here on control panel, network and internet, network connections. And here I have the Ethernet connection. If I'm using cable, that'll be the option, but I'm not, I'm using Wi-Fi. So that's my option. I right click here, go to properties. And here I can change the IP address. I just come here to internet protocol version four hit properties, and here I have my IP. At first, your computer gets an IP from the router and if you if you hit this button here, right? This checkbox here. And then as soon as you have an IP, you can put manually here, right? I was using manually like this, 192, 168.2.160. And the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 and the gateway is the router. So I'm just typing it again. Why am I doing that? Because instead of using an automatic IP, I am inputting my IP here manually so I can have an extra one. When I come here to advance it, I can include more IPs. Let's say here I hit add and then I can include another IP. Let's say 192.168. 138, 160. That's in the same range of the camera. The camera comes from Zossi with this IP, this 138 network, right? So I need to have my uh, laptop in the same range. So I click here, add. Now I have two IPs on my computer and it works, okay? So I hit okay, now okay again, and I close this. Now I have both IPs, I can close out this and this and open a web browser. And here I'm gonna type the IP of my camera, 192.168.138.101. And here we go. Now I can have access to the IP camera. I just 
Take the password here. And here we go. It's working now. Now I have access directly to the camera via web browser and I can come here to config and I can change the camera IP. Now I come here, I'm doing the opposite now, I'm changing the camera. Now I'm just guaranteed that I have the right port. HTTP port is 80 and here is 8000. Okay, that's the default from this camera. But the important part is here, IP address. I want to change it, 192.168.2.101. Uh, subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. Gateway, 192.168.2.1. DNS, I can use the universal one from Berkeley, 4.2.2.2. And the universal one from Google, 8.8.8. .8 .8. .8. .8. doesn't matter which IP you have back there in your network, the DNS, you can use both of these, okay? So I hit here, uh, apply. Let me just check if it's everything is correct. Otherwise, I can have access to my camera anymore. Here we go, apply. And then I have to come back here and use the other IP now. I'm just changing here 138 by two and hit enter again. Here we go, ask for the password again. Let's do it, login, and here we go. Now I have access to my camera using my regular IP range and it's everything is working via web browser, okay? So that's all for today, guys. I hope that video helps you. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also leave your comments, hit the thumbs up, and hit the bell notification to receive more information about videos like this one.